fly my big gay kite. Fuck yes. Meanwhile, Pinky's spying on <laughs> them and writing on the. <laughs> everyone uh my name's Rich spitfire and it's been a while since we did a totally legit recap from dwk uh, last time i did it it was hilarious and i loved i loved it i love his stuff i have not seen any uh season seven episodes except for the other you know uh uh celestial vice and all bottled up so this is going to be uh what uh rock solid friendship and i think fluttershy leans in uh, Rock Solid Friendship was a good episode, one of my favorites because of Mod, and Fluttershy Leans In was, again, not one of my favorite episodes, but I guess I think one of the most important lessons MLP could probably teach, uh, as I said in my, uh, you know, reaction to it. Uh, so, yeah, without further ado, uh, let's get uh, right fucking in, shall we? Here we go. Feels good, Tony. Yes, it does. Okay, so this guy's like, good job passing your Rockdal exam, Mod. I'm yes. glad I found someone Rockdale. else who wanted one of these degrees before I died. And Mod's like, thank you all for coming to support me on this most auspicious occasion. Now that I'm an expert on rocks, I'm confident I'll be a good mother to Boulder's children. We will yes. wed in two days' time and move to Autism Chasm so that we may raise our family <laughs> in peace. So yeah. we're on the E train back home and Ponker's all, uh, Mod, I'm happy for you and all, but is marrying your imaginary friend and moving away from civilization really the best idea why don't you yeah. move out to ponyville with me you could maybe meet a real guy and have some real kids pinky look at our family's track record with offspring i know we call our business a rock farm Very but true. it would be more accurate to call it a personality disorder farm because that's the only thing we actually produce it's better Very if true. i don't have biological offspring and i'll be happy with my rock children look just come home with me for a couple days and give real people one more chance it can't hurt right you would think that wouldn't you anyway after a quick dose of egg existential horror, Maud yeah. decides to humor her sister and Pinky takes her to Ponyville in a last ditch effort to form a connection with another carbon based life form. And Rarity's like, yo darling, what you been up to? Making one last desperate attempt to avoid dying alone. I assume you can relate. Oh, yeah. I wow. suppose nobody really wants that, do they? True. It's like overcooked food. Nobody wants it, but a lot of us get it. Only this isn't something you can send back. Spike, please tell wow. me you brought some vodka. And Maud's all. Pinky, not only do I have no idea how to talk to people, but I also also make them miserable and I don't even understand why. Social interaction for me is like looking through a one-way mirror. Please just let me leave. And Pinky's like, Pretty look, true. it's everyone's favorite background pony, Lyra Hardstring. Yes. What does she have to do with this conversation? Wait, what does who have to do with what? I just blacked out for like 10 seconds. Oh, hey, look who it is. I wasn't expecting to see you here, Glimmy. Then yeah. again, why wouldn't I expect to see the main character of the show? And Glimmy's like, have we met before? And Maud's like, no, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Never mind. I had a few glasses of wine with lunch, so, you know. So Ponka makes Mod hang out with Glimmy in the hopes that they'll hit it off, and Mod's all... I like rocks. What are your hobbies? And Starlight's like... I like... kites. Kites. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's a weird hobby. But Are you a hobby. child molester? No! Why does everyone wow. always ask me that? I think wow. most people assume that adults who like kids stuff are just child molesters trying to lure in new victims. Nope, I just really like kites. I respect you for pursuing your passion regardless of any potential social stigma, but that's still pretty gay. Hey, I, I can't argue with okay. that. You want to help me fly my big gay kite? Fuck yes. Meanwhile, Pinky's spying <laughs> on them and yes. riding on the edge of a nervous breakdown because her sister's future essentially depends on two severely autistic people becoming friends. And Mod's like, wow, that really is a big gay kite. You think this one's big, big gay and gay? Kite. You should see the 10 foot wide one I made in the shape of Trixie's ass. I'd show you, <laughs> but I'm not allowed to fly it within the town limits anymore. You're really weird. So, Pinky decides that yeah, these two is. might bond faster if they experience pony. some tension together. So Thanks, she's Tyler. like, look out, guys, a rapist. <laughs> a rapist. 
don't worry, I got her. That was pretty intense, though, huh? And they're all, wow. why are you wearing a pizza suit? Why aren't you, you unfashionable motherfuckers? Wow. Jesus anyway, it's a little later, Maude and Glimmy are doing some spelunking together, and I, I don't mean the kind dude. she does with Trixie. I'm wow. talking about the actual kind. And Starlight's like, holy shit, this place is fucking gorgeous. This must be like heaven for you. It's almost poetic. What is? That my personal paradise would be underground when my personal hell is above it. Holy wow. shit, bro, you're fucking deep. <laughs> So are you? We're in a deep. subterranean cave. You know what, Mod? I, I think you're really cool. And then Pinky's all. <laughs> so it's later that night, wow. and this is adorable. No, I'm not talking about the fact that these two sleep in the same bed. That's just hot. No, That's I'm talking weird. about this right here. <laughs> Mod's right. hair yeah. is obviously just as unyielding as her personality. Anyway, nothing sexual happens, I promise, but when Pink <laughs> Punk wakes it. up, she finds this note. Pinky, thank <laughs> wow. you for trying to help me, but I'm done. I've realized that my obsession and self-imposed social isolation are just defense mechanisms I've developed to spare myself a life of constant rejection. Being alone hurts less if you pretend it's by choice, and I'd rather go back to my delusions before this taste of the unattainable shatters them forever. Please come visit me in my rock tulpa someday. Love, mod. And Pinky's like, God damn it, you stupid cunt. Why couldn't you just be my sister's friend? And Gloomy Glam's all, Whoa. dude, wait. She left? Yeah, but we were totally hitting it off. You just kept fucking it up. Seriously, that's pretty much exactly what yeah. she said. So Punk's pretty depressed that not only did she fuck up her self-professed area of expertise, but with her sister, no less. However, she powers through it, and thank God, too, because Maude is past the point of no return, and Pinky arrives just in time to interrupt her attempt at suicide by eel. And she's like, holy shit, suicide dude, did you just try eel. to kill yourself? Yes, I came so close to forming an actual interpersonal connection that I realized I could never go back to living in my fantasy world no matter how well constructed it was. I thought I could be happy marrying my own fantasy, but it was all a lie I told myself to keep the crushing loneliness and despair at wow. bay, so I decided to end my life rather than undertake the monumental task of salvaging it. But you're gonna die anyway! Obviously. What's your point? My point is that if death is certain anyway, then what's the harm in trying to live a little longer? At the very worst, you'll still end up dead like you wanted, but at best you might actually be happy. Look, I promise I'll stop being an annoying cunt, True. but just give it a shot, okay? Okay? If it doesn't work out, I, I promise I'll blow uh, your brains you know, out myself. Like and Starlight's too, you know, just cuz. Deal. So mods all. Hello, compadre. <laughs> what <laughs> kind of slang is that? I have no I idea. Anyway. I'm sorry I left, but I'm really shit at this. Hey, it's cool, man. You're literally it's talking to the princess of the longer. social rejects. Can I be yeah. part of your kingdom? You already are, dude. Thanks. Wanna help me decorate my cave? Whoa, 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 back it up, back it up. Uh, look, mod, I think you're fucking <laughs> wow. great and everything, and I think we're gonna be great friends, but I've got this thing going on with somebody else. It's not a sexual youth. Euphemism. Oh shit, my bad. Yeah, yeah let's go. <laughs> Hi guys, oh, I'm a Pony OC, yes, and this yes, is my review of the episode in the top left corner. I thought this episode was good because I liked it, but if it yes. was bad, I wouldn't have liked it because bad things aren't good. Also, wow. Fluttershy is super cute, and- <laughs> Yes, please. Thank you, Starlight. <laughs> Thank you. Fucking high. Uh, okay, so yeah. Angel is practicing some bunny parkour, which some I parkour. swear to God is like one of those stupid offhand jokes I would normally make, but that's actually what it fucking is. Anyway, then he completely eats parkour. shit and shatters a couple of his left metatarsals. Now, a lot of people would say that he deserves this for being an asshole all the time, but I think that's an unfair statement. Very this true. is not enough. This is nowhere near the karmic retribution wow. he deserves for being a selfish, abusive little twat. If it was up to me, it would be a broken fucking neck. So Butterball goes to see this chick, the vet pony. Now, someone might say, hey, yeah, those were, uh, you know, DWK's, uh, Totally Drake recaps for, uh, Rockstar Friendship and Star Shailene's End. They were funny, and I always expect to at least get some good laughs and some good, awesome quotes. Uh, so, yeah, um, I can't wait to do more next Wednesday, because I'm gonna just do these for the rest of the Wednesday, Wednesday so I can, uh, you know, catch up. And hopefully I can find uh, the season seven, you know, I'm missing like three episodes. Maybe I can, you know, at least get an idea what they're about before I react to them. So that'd be fun. Uh, 
If you guys want to actually watch my reaction to the episodes, I'll put those at the end card, and you can probably just find them on my channel. They're not that hard to find, but, uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and see you in the next fucking video. Peace the fuck out. Building a cute, cuddly critter commune where they can all live together in peace and love. And rare as okay. all, darling, my dude, don't animals just, like, live out in the woods or some shit? Whoa, Very yeah. True. So, I mean, why don't they just go do that? There's, like, there's, like, hella fucking woods around here. Hey, fuck, hella fucking, fucking woods. shut up, all right? Uh, look, are you motherfuckers gonna help me or not? Oh, yeah, no, 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 totally. What is that? And AJ's like, okay, so check it out. I know this chick who's really fucking good at making animal houses. She'll totally help you out. And I'm like, that's cool, oh, AJ, wow. but I mean, okay. Fluttershy's already an animal expert. She could probably do that herself if she has some help with the labor. And Pinky's like, yo, man, I know this guy who's like way good at building shit. He can hook you up too. And I'm thinking, okay, but you guys already have AJ. She's good at building stuff. And if you need any extra muscle, you got a fucking alicorn to help you. And my Very wife true. was like, darling, bro, oh, wait, hold on. Uh, let me see. How about now? Nope, nope. Give it another minute. What is what? it, dude? Sorry, there's this harpsichord that starts playing sometimes when I try to talk, and I just had to wait for it to shut the fuck up. Ready? What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Wait, you, you guys don't hear that shit? You hear what? Um, never mind. Anyway, I know this guy who's really good at decorating shit. He can help you out, too. And I'm like, look, Rare, babe, I know running three shops is fucking rough, and the stress seems to be making you a little delirious right now, but you do remember that interior decorating is like like a thing that you do whatever yeah. so yeah, three kinda. members of the yeah. pony sort village of. people show up to yeah those were uh you know dwk's uh totally drink recaps for uh rocks of friendship and sort of shylene's in they're funny and i always expect to at least get some good laughs and some good awesome quotes uh so yeah um I can't wait to do more next Wednesday because I'm going to just do these for the rest of the Wednesday, Wednesday so I can, uh, you know, catch up and hopefully I can find uh, the season seven. You know, I'm missing like three episodes. Maybe I can, you know, at least get an idea what they're about before I react to them. So that'll be fun. Uh, if you guys want to actually watch my reaction to the episodes, I'll put those at the end card and you can probably just find them on my channel. They're not that hard to find, but, uh... Yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and see you in the next fucking video. Peace the fuck out. Didn't do that. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Well, I mean, the whole point of, like, asking someone that. to do something is so they kind of, like, do that thing that yeah. you ask them to do, you know? Oh, yeah, well, fuck you! No, fuck you! No, you! Get the fuck out of here! Jesus Christ! Christ, what's wrong with you people? So the gals are back at the Flutter Hut slamming down some hot toddies and they're like, well, sorry, bro. I guess those friends of ours are sort of completely fucking retarded. And Butterball's yeah. all, no worries, guys. Let's give it another shot. Although since the six of us together have all the same skill sets as those idiots and then some, we could just do it ourselves. And they're like, oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Why didn't we just do that the first time? And Twy's all, yeah, but Ponyville Labor Laws do mandate that any construction operation employ at least one side character of questionable intelligence. And this right. guy's all, yo, what's up, motherfuckers? All right, sweet, problem solved. So they do the whole thing over, and this time is fine, and I'm just like, yeah, okay, yeah. that happened. So the world of the story is, you know, don't be fucking retarded. Also, <laughs> yeah, follow your sort of, dreams. Yeah. yeah, yeah, follow your dreams. Definitely do that, too. This, this is the worst, this is the worst video I've ever recorded. <laughs> Holy shit. Nice <laughs> <laughs> uh, See you guys at the outro. Yeah, those were, uh, you know, DWK's, uh, Totally Drake recaps for, uh, Rocks of Friendship and Sarah Shailene's in. They were funny, and I always expect to at least get some good laughs and some good, awesome quotes. Uh, so, 
yeah, um, I can't wait to do more next Wednesday because I'm going to just do these for the rest of the Wednesday, Wednesday so I can, uh, you know, catch up and hopefully I can find uh, the season seven. You know, I'm missing like three episodes. Maybe I can, you know, at least get an idea what they're about before I react to them. So that would be fun. Uh, if you guys want to actually watch my reaction to the episodes, I'll put those at the end card and... You can probably just find them on my channel. They're not that hard to find. But, uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and see you in the next fucking video. Peace the fuck out.